In this video, how do we install Windows 10 in your PC using a USB flash drive? So at first you have to enter the BIOS. So whichever PC, whichever brand you are using, you can search for the function key, shortcut key to enter the BIOS for particular brand then you can enter the BIOS just restart your PC or as soon as you start your PC you're gonna press that function key and you can enter your BIOS currently and this is my Lenovo PC and for the, if you're using the Lenovo the F1 key continuously you're gonna press the F1 key as soon as you start the PC or restart the PC you can enter the BIOS and then here is the startup you can see here is a UEFI legacy so the somewhere uh, you are gonna check it out so the tab may be the different in the different PC in some PC you will see a date and time config advanced so check the different tab and somewhere you are gonna see UEFI legacy so boot priority sorry boot priority it's a boot capability system boot capability so UEFI you can see select the system boot capability so you want to choose one out of it so always choose UEFI because for Windows 10 you need a UEFI after choosing that so if it is already selected UEFI you do not have to make any changes if uh, legacy is there instead of UEFI you want to change UEFI and then you're gonna save and exit you can see F10 key to save and exit so you're gonna press the F10 key in order to save and exit and you're gonna choose yes and done now in the second step you're gonna enter the boot setup from where you can choose the bootable device you can see over here my bootable device is the third one so it's a uh, SP pen drive where I have a Windows 10 it's a bootable USB flash drive make sure it is inserted into your PC USB port and so how do you enter this uh, boot uh, menu so you can enter the boot menu in a different way as soon as you restart your PC or as soon as you turn on your PC you gonna continuously press the escape key for some PC mine is uh, the Lenovo PC so in this PC I am using the F12 key so as soon as I restart or turn on the PC or uh, as soon as I exit from this boot menu by choosing the legacy I continuously press the F12 key and I gonna enter this so different brand has a different option so you can search on Google manually if you have any issue or if you are not being able to get into this boot menu so in some PC over there in the boot option only you will have an option to choose the first boot device as a bootable device, bootable pen drive or all different option so depending upon the different model you can just uh, check it on Google search if you have any issue now I'm going to choose my pen drive as a bootable device and I'm going to boot this PC using a bootable USB flash drive. Now it's just going to boot the PC from my USB flash drive. You can see setup is starting and it might take some time. So here we go now it's uh, you can choose the language time and date format so according to your location and click on next and finally click on install now now it is starting the setup so this process is gonna take some time so walk around and come so it, in case if it asks you for any kind of license key you just get the license key 
Uh, so you must uh, have a license key uh, along with your uh, operating system from where you have got it or if you do not have you can just uh, visit the microsoft.com and you can get the license key from there now you're going to choose what operating system you would like to install so you can see I have purchased uh, this PC with the Windows 10 Pro so I'll be installing this so you can choose and click on next so you have a multiple number of person to choose you can choose anyone and click on next click on next upgrade install key files and setting up custom install so you can choose any one of the two options now here's the number of uh, drive you can see total five partitions so I'm going to choose one over here, it's a partition with a 499 MB and here's a partition with a 99 GB and here's the partition with 19.2 GB so I'm going to choose this partition I'm just going to format it first and then I'm going to click on next so now you can see it is installing so in order to proce complete this process it is gonna take some time
Okay guys, finally we have over here we have successfully installed it. So let me cut it for a while. I can see you. Here is your PC. Now you can install the software and all. We have completely done.